Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Crossblitz, a deck-building RPG card battler that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today as part of the Steam Next Fest. But before we get into it, I want to say a huge thank you to the Arcade Crew for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in Crossblitz throughout this video, there's a link at the top of the description to check out the demo for yourself for free throughout the Next Fest. But let's pop on in and check out the game, see what it's all about. I'll admit I've been following it for quite a while, and I'm very, very interested in this game. So we get to pick a mode. I will say, I know in the full game, there's going to be a roguelike mode, but we are going to be playing through the hero story, which I would imagine is going to be more akin to like, you know, the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, card-based RPG sort of genre, which is also very much my jam. So let's pop on in. Redcroft, a mighty pirate who sails the neighboring seas in search of adventure and treasure. Oh God, the UI is so good. Uh, Taco Boy Studios is responsible for that. You may know from, I think, um, Creatures of Ether. God, just such good pixel art UI menu work. So clean. Redcroft, the renowned mighty pirate, has been imprisoned. Wrongfully accused of raiding the Scaleskin supply ship whilst exploring the Western Seas. The merciless Princess Singana has confined him and his crew to a desert prison on the outskirts of Scalehearth. With no hope of escape, Redcroft and his fellow caged pirates fall into despair. That is, until a royal envoy arrives at the prison on one particularly hot day with a tempting proposition. If Redcroft can procure a long-lost relic from an island situated deep in the south southern... Maybe? Southron? Southern Seas? Princess Aingana will pardon them of their crimes, restoring their stolen freedom. However, no seafarer has ever returned from the mysterious island alive. What dangers await our notorious red-bearded pirate on the dreaded Isle of Dragon's Belly? Oh my god. The map, too. I mean, like, I hope that the gameplay is as good as the visuals, because the visuals are already super, super impressive to me. Finally, out of that hellhole of a prison. So, where to be errand boys for the princess, eh? Fine by me, anything to win our freedom back. But as soon as I get to Swindler's Wharf, I'm down in a mug of grog. Ooh. Explore the hex map by moving along the pathways that connect to each node. Pathways will open as you win battles or view events. Select a node to move your hero to it. Press the corresponding green action button to interact with that node. Okay. Use the minimap to get your bearings. The flashing markers are your current location. Every square represents a different section of the hex map. Use passage nodes to move between areas. But keep in mind you won't be able to access the entire map in this demo. All right. Chat. Redcroft and his crew finally arrive at the pirate haven of Swindler's Warp after a perilous journey across the western desert. Unfortunately, there's little time to unwind with Abraxas, Princess Angana's loyal advisor, watching their every move. Ahoy! Home sweet home. Think I'm done with the desert sightseeing for a long, long time. Aye, Captain. Feels good to be by the sea again. Salty breeze bolsters the soul. Right yar, brass. Grog and gambling aplenty. Your pirates are filthy. You call this decrepit shantytown a home? I've seen sewers cozier than this foul cesspool. You always this much of a drag, Braxy. Lighten up. You are to dress me as a Braxis pirate. By decree of Her Royal Majesty Princess Angana, you are to show me the utmost respect. Or have you already forgotten the compliance curse we placed upon you and your ragtag companions? One step out of line and your lives will be forfeit. I'll see to it personally. Easy there, just poking a bit of fun, Abraxas. We don't have time for fun. We must reach Dragon's Belly with great haste. Well, we ain't getting into that forsaken island without a ship. Admiral Brass? Yes, Captain. Any idea where we can get our hands on a seaworthy vessel? That'd be a tough one, Captain. A oh, lot's changed since our time spent behind bars. Let's ask around town. One of the local cutthroats is sure to know where we can find a ship or two. Talk to local riffraff. 
Ah, uh, fine plan. Let's go, bad boys. I don't know if it said bad boys, but I'm just gonna say yes. All right. Low the ape. Oh, are you there? What do you want, big beard? Me and my friends here. We're looking for a ship. Any idea where we can find one? You think you have time? The sea legs to man a ship? You making me laugh? I don't take too kindly to chumps laughing at me. Why don't we settle this like real pirates? Fine by me, I'll mop the deck with you. Battle commence. Turn order, select a card to play. Paper. Ah, rigged. You begin each battle by drawing three random cards from your deck. This is your starting hand. You can replace any of these three cards to draw a new random card from your deck. Call the mulligan. Because you start with only one mana on your first turn and it costs mana to play cards, it's generally a good idea to aim for a low starting cost hand. Yes. When finished, press the confirm button to start the battle. Oops. <laughs> Admiral Brass. Rigby, flying, battle cry, draw a pirate, then reduce the cost of all pirate minions in your hand by one. Your pirate, deal one damage to all minions. All minions. So the mana cost is probably going to be the top middle. Okay, hold on. The fact that you're at two cost and you reduce the cost of minions in hand by one means that we have a really clean one, two, technically three curves. So I'm going to say sure. Ain't got the guts to sail these waters, Big Beard. I'm drowning in guts. Pirate recruits. We're gonna sink ya. Okay, so now... Battles are turn base, where with each player using their turn to play cards. Cards are played on the battlefield, composed of a 4x4 four four grid. Each player has half of the grid to play their minions. Yours is blue, opponents is red. To win the battle, you must reduce health points to zero. Pretty standard stuff so far. At the start of each turn, you'll automatically draw a card from your deck. 10 is the maximum you can hold in your hand at a time. There are three types of cards, minions, spells, and traps. Minions have, you know, power and HP. Good deal. Spell, yes. Special cards are traps that can trigger in certain conditions. Everything costs mana. Mana's in the upper left. Wait, upper top center. It's the, the one that I knew was mana. Minions attack in a straight line within the confines of their column towards the opponent's side of the battlefield. If there are no enemy minions occupying that column, you strike the enemy hero directly, inflicting damage equal to the power. Gotcha, gotcha. Lane-based, very important to note. Pressing the blitz button to begin the combat phase, your minions will strike from left to right and front to back. Gotcha. Play a card, simply drag it from the hand of the battlefield. Minion cards must be placed in one of the grid squares. How they'll only be... A okay, they'll only attack if they're in the correct row. So they'll be frontline and backline minions... Spell can be triggered anywhere. Traps similar to minion cards. It must be placed on a grid square. Most minions cannot attack on the same turn they're played. This status is slow, called slow. An hourglass. Yep. Summoning sickness. Your next turn, when you enter the combat phase, your minions will attack. When a minion strikes an opposing minion, the striker will take return damage equal to their power. So it's everything is going to clash. So we don't just do a free attack and then they gotcha. That's important to note as well. And then the final one. I'm usually not a fan of this style of tutorial, but hey, if it gets it all out of the way at once, why not? Your max mana pool increases by one every turn, capping off at 10. Your mana replenishes every turn, too. Try to spend as much mana as you can each turn, as there's no carryover. Yeah. Standard, standard stuff there. So I do think that just playing this saw blade for the first turn is probably the best call. Ship cannon is inanimate. After you summon a pirate minion, deal two pyro damage to a random enemy. I mean, I'll press blitz. I don't have any minions, though. Okay. Err, I'll get ya. So what is, I'm assuming flying is can attack over... Yep, can only be blocked by other flying minions. Seafaring ape. Hold on now. Wait a minute. All right, one second. All right. Oh, cool. It looks just like a little bit of a goo bloop, bloop, bloop. coming off of that. Draw a pirate and then reduce the cost. I guess I'll do it anyways. 
theoretically, we will do a damage. And then I'll take a damage, and then you won't... Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if I love that for us. We'll do one damage to him. But then I'm going to lose a lot of board state. Oi, Captain! Oh, boy. Actually, never mind. I don't even get to attack with you. But I was kind of using you more for your effect. Tough. One less damage from all sources. Oh, we have 20 health. Okay, so I have three mana. After you play a pirate minion, give it plus two power and rush. So I can't attack the first time anyways. Rush I will be able to, though. So I guess I'll just pop you here for now. Shouldn't matter too much. Be able to block that lane. Okay. Nothing. All right. Now we begin our climb back to the tippy top. Okay. Do two pyro damage to a random enemy. I'll pop this here, and then we can put this down to random damage. Cool. And then we also do gain rush, which means we should be able to attack again really quickly here. Cool. And that's actually, uh, that's lethal. This is tight. This is tight. I really like that kind of, like, positional lane-based combat. You know, I've seen it in other games and stuff, but it's it's kind of a preferred style for a card battler to me. Level grid. You're finished. Now hand over your treasure. Power up your heroes with the level grid. Each time you gain a level, you earn a level point. Spend your level points by selecting a grid node. You must move along the path. Check the highlighted nodes to see which are currently available. Each column is aligned to a deck archetype or different play style. Mix and match how you spend it or go all in. It's up to you. Uh, HP boost, card, acquire a new card, blitz burst, acquire a new blitz burst card, etc., etc. You can reset your points at any time. Gotcha. Cool. I, I kind of, you know, the funny, ironic thing is I do like a level up tree in a non roguelike mode. Increases your maximum health. I'm going to say nah. Okay. Combat start. Draw a random pirate minion from your deck every turn. And it's arranged. Cannon barrage. Start of your turn. Fire a friendly cannon. Jolly bomber. Battle cry and death rattle. Add a bomb to your opponent's deck. I'm, I'm going to go with the pirate party angle. Apparently we have another point here. Three pirate damage to a random enemy. Repeat for each pirate you control. I'll, I'm going to work down that row, I think. Okay. Defeat an enemy. Destroy. It. You're finished. Now hand over your treasure. Oh, shiver me barrels. You're a lot stronger than I thought. And I'll teach you to laugh at the mighty red crop. Well, you're the right, mighty Redcroft? Hey, he said you drowned out in the Western Seas. Do I look like I drowned to you? Now back to business. Where can we find ourselves a ship? Out with it. Wish I knew. Ships have become harder and harder to come by these days. Those blasted sea spouts sentries rounding up so many pirates and the like. But if your heart's set on sailing again, try asking some of the other folks further in town. I warn you, though. Most of those scallywags ain't keen on handing out information to strangers. And nothing a bit of roughing up can't solve. Truly are a simple-minded brute. Uh, yes, treasure. Ingredients that can be used to meld new cards. Pirate silver. Dragon sharp. Oh, cool. Okay. Sid the squid.
paper again. Hey, there we go. Select your cards to replace Grog, draw a card and gain two armor. You know, it's kind of a not bad stall, especially if, if I can reduce the comp. I mean, I'm going to say sure, just whatever. It doesn't matter if we take a little bit of damage, as long as we set ourselves up well for the future. And having extra cards in our hand for uh, Rig Beak to theoretically reduce the cost of is great. And we get the two armor anyways. And then if we can, uh, if this guy can get zero cost, that's, that's huge for us. Death Rattle, give another random friendly minion plus one, plus one. He does two. You know, I'm probably just going to say let let him do it. Yes! Actually. Yeah, fine. The fact that we, we can't attack this first turn, though. It's pretty noteworthy. So him putting that there seems... It's a little bit weird. A random minion's gonna get plus one, plus one. I'm gonna take that too. It just doesn't really matter. So. You're not ranged. Is there, there's no way to move cards. At least... There's probably... I'm sure there's, like, spells and stuff that would let us. All right, sure. We attack over. Attack there. Then we go for the kill, which could be bad. Okay, it's going to be irrelevant. We're going to be taking that hit anyways. Well, it's not irrelevant, because otherwise he would have died in a one-for-one -one trade. He's going to die at the very least... But again, that's not great. Because somebody else is getting a buff. Who's it going to be? Yeah, don't love it. We'll go for the ship cannon. Can I put it anywhere? I think I can. Should I put it behind somebody else? Maybe not. Okay. Pretty ideal. And so then it also has Rush, so we're going to take you down. It's fine. We're good to go. We're going to take a one hit, but... The goal is just to reduce your... I don't think I really care about not taking any damage. I don't think that really matters to me much. Destroy at least three of your minions. Win in 20 or less turns. Take 15 or less damage during the battle. Yeah. We are pretty flexible here. So that's it. This is a five cost. Give your other minions plus two, plus two. Sure. I could just put it in the middle and go ham, but now I just want to do big murders. Okay. Because we're going to, now that we know what the requirements are for four stars here, it's really not that bad. Also, I like the idea of maybe, like, you know, you come back to get more stars to get more... I don't know. I really... I love the idea of the gameplay loop so far. Another win for Redcroft the Mighty. Huge stuff there. We did not get another level up for what it's worth. Loot Whip Grunt. Whenever you play a minion, deal a damage to it and give it plus two power. Eesh. Cool, but also could be bad. It's kind of bad with our deck right now. 
Looks like your fancy slacks were no match for the mighty Redcroft squid face. That peddler. He tricked me into buying these patch-ridden pantaloons. Silence. Tell us where we can find a ship now. You think I know? I've been beached ever since my last cap and bl was blown to bits by that scurvy dog, Coxswain. If it's a ship you'd be looking for, go talk to one of those big-headed info brokers. Two-faced crooks know where everything's going on in the sh wait, in the Schwindler's Wharf. Schwindler. An info broker, eh? Pirate's Code event. Can I go here? I can. <gasps> Customers! Welcome to Cardinella's Card Market. Your one-stop shop for more cards and more cards. Nice to make your acquaintance, ma'am. <laughs> She's car crazy. That I am, you annoying loudmouth creature, you. My cards are the best you can buy, and the prices are to die for. You don't say. I do say. Say I do. Now let's get the show on the road, yes. Take a look at my wares, please. I insist. Captain, might be a good idea to grab a card or two if you got the funds. You never know what kind of trouble we'll be getting into exploring Swindler's Wharf. Hi, right, Brass. Suppose it wouldn't hurt to look. Look! Don't just look, my good beast man! Bye! Don't you have a burning desire to bolster your collection? Wouldn't you like to be prepared for whatever dangers may lie ahead? A rough and tumble pirate like yourself needs a wide array of wonderful cards at his disposal for any and all situations. Don't you think? Uh, well, yes, see? Now open up that fat wallet of yours and let the money sing. You won't regret it, I can promise you that. Ah, yeah, okay. Wow, Buccaneer. Okay, hold on. This seems solid. Death Rattle Pirate, add a random pirate to your hand. Battle Cry, restore four health to your hero. Honestly? I'm going to buy these and I'm going to replace my other fools that I got. If I can do that. Surely I... Edit deck. Okay, a playable full deck has 30 cards. The cards in the card list. Remove them by clicking them. Add cards by dragging them or clicking them. Yeah. Uh, power, health. All minions have an assigned attack type. Melee is the first row. Second is uh, range second row. And arcane is anywhere. Spell and trap cards don't have it. Yeah, I feel like we did learn this already. Multiple of the same card can be added, but it's limited depending on the card's rarity. Common, you can have eight of the same. Rare, four, mythic, two, legendary, one only. Very cool. Well, with that in mind, I, I do think that um, replacing those with literally the same guy but better seems like a really good car. Call? Car? Call? Car, car. Three cost barrel mutt. You know, do we need four seafaring apes? I'm gonna say nah. But they're also like a really good just win condition for when it gets later. I've never I've never even drawn you. Strikes twice. I feel like maybe uh, uh, we can drop a sh cannon there. There, we'll be we'll run one less seafaring ape. That sounds good. Oh, card menu relics. Wait, what? Relics are powerful items or artifacts that give you an ancient battle. Equip them the same way you add or remove cards. Elder relics are very powerful, very rare. You can only have one of these at a time. Standard or less useful, you can have three. A set of equipped relics is tied to the deck that you're using. You can swap to a different deck. The relics will be not carried over. Okay. Oh my lord. This is extremely cool. I will say the fact that so far the game itself also seems to live up to its visuals and design and stuff 
makes me really happy. Like, I want to play a lot of this. I genuinely am super into it so far. Like, I'm super, super happy to be getting the opportunity to check this out. Hey. Uh, Mark! Red Croft's dead! Drown at sea! Uh, shut it, feather face! I would like to turn off the, uh, the screen flashes. If Maybe it's possible. And I... Oh. I beefed it. I beefed it. So let's let's take a look at some settings, though. Filters. This is like, uh, yeah, like a scan line. I, I'm never really a scan line guy. Got the audio. Game options. Battles. Damage display speed very fast. Show opponent's hand. Wow. New card alert. Ooh, I like that you can turn off new card alert. I am definitely the kind of guy who will... I'm going to say... Let's go. Beautiful. All right. It's official. My complaints are gone. I wish I didn't skip through that by trying to open up the menu, but hey. I was able to fix up my, my issues. <laughs> Pretty fairy. Rig beak. Don't be rude. What a mighty pirate you seem to be, lion boy. This should be fun. Oh, watch where you're pointing that fancy blade of yours, miss. Some might mistake a gesture like that as a threat. Oh, your concern is touching, but I'd worry more about yourself. That fierce look in your eye. You're itching for a duel, eh? <laughs> then on guard. Uh, paper. Get wrecked. Uh, I'm gonna hit you with that. Uh, I don't think I need ship cannon in my starting hands. Battle relic. In battle, equip relics are re represented by icons by your hero portraits. Your opponent can equip relics too. On combat, start deal damage equal to the number of cards you've played this turn to a random enemy minion. Oh my. After your opponent plays their first minion in a turn, deal a damage to it. Uh, that seems absurd for us to have to deal with, so I can't... I kind of can't play a minion. I feel like I may have uh, stepped outside of my, uh, my turf. Blunder. After this destroys a minion, gain 1-1. One, one. But, if you have one health, how are you ever gonna... I mean, hey, that, that is a you problem. After pressing Blitz, deal damage equal to the number of cards you played this turn to a random enemy minion. And after your opponent plays their first minion, deal the damage to it. This is so bad for us. Like, I literally can't play the Recruit until I can play another unit. So, I actually just straight up can't do much. Got some coin on ya? Uh. Okay. Hmm. The parrot would actually be so good right now, so... Okay, actually, I think that putting down the cannon is going to be a, a better call. I know I'm going to be slowly... Oh, God. Take him down, but... Here's hoping. What was that? Whenever your opponent casts a spell... Add a doubloon to your hand. So we get the one. So this does get to live, which is really important. All right. We have four mana. I could play both of these, but it wouldn't really help me that much. So we're going to pop this down and hope to God that... Nope. Hope to God that the random targeting from this does not hit my cannon. One damage to an enemy minion. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, the good news is that doesn't mean anything. This is going to be a lot to overcome. Okay, at least we get a body you back. The good news is we probably... Probably can. One damage to all minions is... Is actually good. It's really good. Okay, step one. We'll do that. We're going to do that before we play anything. I don't know what a doubloon is. Just in case we get the parrot. It's about dang time. So if I do that... It's good and bad, right? It's a melee. So have we played our first minion? If I play him, he dies. Which is kind of annoying. But then if I play him, and then I can play these others for free as well. Which is less annoying. I think he's wor it's worth the sacrifice. We get to draw another minion as well. And reduce the costs. There we are. Buccaneer. He's going to get the damage boost. Damage boost. Damage boost. And the rush. Yeah, there we go. It's worth. We get to go ham now. Okay, I did not know for a fact if that would hit the back line or not. Cool. All right. Fixed. Okay, I do love that they get the uh, the damage up forever. Battle cry restore health to hero. Don't love that. Also, don't love that you have two attack. Not gonna be helpful. Full. Okay. Really happy we have Monkey. Okay, so hold on. It's gonna be eight, ten. We have ten damage. We can't kill. If we can't kill, we're gonna make sure that this can at least. Oh, we actually could have killed because we have you. Whoops. Should have waited to see what we drew. It's okay. This is more of a kill secure. Win in 10 or less turns. We're going to be fine. We're going to get the full four anyways. Probably. Yep. Looks like they're just kind of out of stuff. Bonk. Bonk. All right. It's called Overkill, sweetheart. That card is really good, though. <laughs> okay. You're finished. Now hand over your treasure. Level up. I mean, what's the full thing up here? Summon six pirate minions. Blitz burst deal damage equal to the number of pirate minions you control to all enemies. I don't know what a blitz burst is, but it sounds cool. I think we could probably slot one or maybe two of that into our deck. Armor fairy. Whenever another friendly minion takes damage, gain one armor. It is cool. They're an arcane. They have six health. It's not a pirate. I really have such a pirate synergy deck, though. It's kind of... Which I kind of like their idea of starting you with a kind of, like, straightforward synergy deck like this, where it's play pirates, get value. Throw down the fancy weapon, fairy. You've been baiting. This wasn't supposed to happen. Grub told me this was going to be an easy job. Grub? Who the bloody hell is Grub? Wouldn't you like to know? Catch you later, lion boy. Wait, we ain't done talking. Captain, she's heading south. Ah, after a gang. Wait, we can go... We can go either way now. Ooh. I think I'll generally head towards what looks like the boss vibe. I also want to know if the shop ever gets different stuff. I would imagine it doesn't. Let me check. Beep. 
What's our two? We have a. What do we have for a two cost? I think we could certainly go ahead and pop it in. Instead of what? Maybe we could probably ditch a saw blade or so. We could probably ditch a ship cannon and a saw blade to add two more of those. Maybe we could ditch a pirate recruit. It's tough. Like, you you want one drops, you know? I'll tell you, I do want to get more of those, though. It's just with the straightforward pirate synergy. Okay, we'll drop one, two, three, four. Yeah, because that being reduced by Rigbeak and having another unit. Like, we don't have, um, I, I don't know, Rigbeak is basically a spell. You know, in a way. He is a, he's a pirate unit, but he's also kind of a spell. Okay, maybe I do want to put that thing on that makes this... Uh, I can't bring up this with escape. Where was it? Fables. Collection menu. So we probably need to see the new cards first for it to go away, and then now maybe we won't get any more. Mana Forge. Ain't often you stumble upon a big old furnace sitting about in Swindler's Wharf. Aye, Catherine. Looks like... A special type of furnace, too. Did you just come to gawk? Trying to work here. Oh, sorry there, pal. Didn't mean to offend. Excuse me, sir. Uh, you happen to be the Meldon Smithy? Smithy, I'm a Meldon master. Best there is. Name's Mulder. Pleased to meet you, Mulder. I'm Redcroft, and this is my first mate, Admiral Brass. Hmm. Captain, yeah, we should ask him if he's willing to do some business. Master Mulder here could meld some new cards for us. Skilled melders are hard to come by these days. Ain't the most friendly chum I've met, but if he's as good as he says he is, then I'm all for it. Down to Master's skills, eh? Where'd you learn your matters, Red... Redbone? It's Redcraft. Redcroft. <laughs> your name could be Red Dolt for all I care, but I'm willing to meld almost anyone as long as they got the ingredients proper recipe. Appreciate the help, Master Mulder. I wonder what I'm going to do with all this junk I've been collecting anyways. Only a fat-headed fool will call these precious ingredients junk. You got a lot to learn, Red Crow. Enough chatting. Get Melden. What do we got here? Flintlock. Pirate battle cries. Summon a ship cannon behind this minion. Wait, what? For real? Just like straight up the normal... Cool. It's my best work yet, I'd say. Hell, I'll, I'll make a second one. I mean, can I drop more of my one costs? I maybe could. I could probably drop a grog or two. I could probably drop the two grogs for it. But the grog is a really good stall tool to let us play our higher cost minions without it being too bad. My curve is very, very heavy on the threes now. We could maybe even get rid of the ship cannons. We could maybe use... I don't, I don't get this. Summon a ship cannon behind this minion. This is just so much better than a ship cannon. So maybe I can just... Maybe I will just do that. It's just a better version. We'll do that. I don't think we can handle too much saw blades, but we'll have a couple as like a situational nice thing. Paper. 
At this point, we don't even need that. We could draw, hopefully, a... Nope. I was going to say, hopefully, like, a three, but hey. Out of the way, Squidhead. Make me verbal, gladly. Hmm. Do we trade? I think a trade makes sense if... It wasn't if he's not going to spawn another thing. I'll take the chance. After you play your first death raw minion in a turn trigger, it's death rattle. Okay, so that would have done its thing. Eh, it's going to give the buff, but hey. It was going to happen at some point. Anywho. Get you in there works for me because we can win this trade one for one and then we can get ahead it's gonna have to throw down two minions to get yep sure we're gonna sink yeah okay so he gets a random pirate for free because he does get to play that death rattle without actually having to do anything i'm willing to take a little bit of damage here destroy at least three yeah but we'll do that play on curve nice and clean do the, the draw first Flintlock, same deal. If we can take down a minion and be able to keep going, I think that's going to be better than dropping these twos. Because the thing is, they might... Yeah. Oh, boy. Deal three draconic damage to the enemy hero. I mean, that ain't great. But we're going to be able to uh, trade this two for the three here. It's a lot of damage. But we theoretically should be able to... Uh, Get back at it. Okay, so we got the cannon. A fine trade. I don't know about the no 15 damage. Oh, wait, when you say right, right, random, random pirate? Random pirate, you mean like, doesn't have to be in my deck either. For the rest of the game, bombs deal four more damage. That doesn't count as a bomb, does it? The turn order there was abysmal. Okay. All right, let's think about this. We got enough to play both. We got enough to play both. I don't know where this random blast is going to go. Good and bad. Oh. Did he get it? Did he get another one? Okay, never mind. We're good. Does it range you to knock it an attack backwards? Back at us? Ah, uh, it would have been better over there. All right, here is the turn. Okay. Fleeting. Destroy it after it attacks. Death rattle deal one pyro damage randomly split among all enemies. One split among all enemies. What the hell you got going on here? Life steal. Damage to this, this minion does also heals the controlling here by that amount. Battle cry steals yeah, sets equal to the highest power minion on the board. That could have been a lot worse. Summon a random dragon from your hand. All right, so we probably want to just go ham here. Oh, that could hit. I didn't even know that could hit the... Well, hey. Uh, you can attack from the back line, not that I really care too much here. Cool. Cool. would have been even cooler if we could hit both on the left there. You're just here. So I can activate the ability again. Alright, we should be a-okay. We don't have any spots on the board anymore is the problem. And we are just healing you. That ain't great. 
We should be able to get you here, right? Surely. Okay, good. Well. Seven. Wait, you only have one... I'll give everybody the plus two then. That way we should be able to go over here. And that was a very, very lucky target for the random there. That was really lucky. Wouldn't have probably... I don't think it would have mattered anyways. Even my dang frogman. I didn't realize how important he was to my whole life. Good God. I thought that the lifesteal would have healed you three. Am I crazy? Did I um, do damage to you as well or something? Just moving my way up to that. Deal damage your minions. Ten oh, okay. If you summon six pirate minions, then you get to do that. Is this like an ult? It's like an ultimate. Oh, that's actually really cool. I think we got all those. What do we get? Boom Bird, a pirate with rush and flying. When this minion deals damage to the enemy hero, add a bomb to their deck. That is pretty cool. I like that it has seven health. It fills a bit of a niche that my deck might kind of want. Which is to say, a slightly tankier lad. Okay. The ape is good. I think we only need... I think we only need two. As a heftier win condition. I've never drawn this card. I'm not even convinced it exists. Alright. What, what was the cost on? Am I out of my mind? What? Didn't I just get a card offered to me? Did I get a recipe or something? I feel like I might have just gotten a recipe. Yep. Yes, sir. Don't have the ingredients for it. You dare? I can't go to the east, it looks like. Looks like we found ya. Name's Eve, lion boy. Remember it. Pardon me, Miss Eve. Didn't mean to insult ya. Why are you being polite to this she-imp? She tried to kill us. All part of the Red Code, Braxy. How chivalrous. Rare in this day and age, especially among the pirates. A shame I have to end the life of such a charmer. We'll be seen about that, Miss Eve. How about she? So do you have the same passives? Get wrecked. I'm a paper boy. What can I say? Say no to that. A guy can dream. Maybe we can get a one cost. It's just this. They just traded places. Wait, what? Elda, swift strike, plunder, add two doubloons to your hand. You get to start with that, huh? So you'll take one damage, but you have tough. Or is that changed? Nope, start the game with Elda. Comment start, deal damage equal to the number of cards played. Gotcha. I mean, hey, what, what can I do about it? I can't really do anything about that existing. Plunder, plus one, plus one. Good deal. Uh... Swift Strike strikes without taking return damage. Okay, we're going to put down this. I do like Rigbeak, but I also like the idea of trading this here. We take the hit, we draw a pirate, we get one extra card in our hand, which gives us more value out of Rigbeak in a way. Oh, it's so nice that that hit that target. He's going to trade so you don't get the plunder. 
Jolly Bomber, Battle Cry, and Death Rattle at a bomb. Which I'm assuming is it just a card in the deck that blows up. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, I think it's probably it's probably as simple as that. Blows up, does damage to him. Sketra, Sketra. I'm willing to go for this trade here. It's ranged! Sorry, I didn't know because I don't have one in my deck. Ah! Uh... He's in, he's new to me. He looks like a he looks like a close range guy to me, but he's like he's a bomb thrower. Well, at least he still gets the. Okay, it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered. That I at least take a little bit of comfort in the fact that they just would have ruined me anyways. All right. Um, hit me with a saw blade first. Followed by, you know what? Admiral Brass, maybe? Get that guy out of here. Get Elda. I think that me having this is almost more important. Next turn, we get um, the Seafaring Ape. Ah, it's tough. I think that having this passive is going to be a bit more important to me. Or having the, uh, the everybody gains charge. Yeah. This is how these games go, though. You know, where it starts out rough, and then you hopefully can earn your way back. Oh, what? This one is 12 or less damage during the battle? Screw you. Okay. Well, should have done that one first, then. Cool. All right, this is where I make my comeback. So we took the 12 already, so we're not getting that one. So that would be impetus to maybe, like... God, I hate that. That could have been worse. Do you target that? Do you get the choice? Oof. As scary as that looks for our health, that went very, very uh, well, all things considered. Cool. This could hit the hero. It, it did. All right, good. Woo! That was tight. Them starting with that absolutely brutal card. The fact that it had the first strike as well, and everything that everything that happened. Okay, we did everything but the take twelve or less. Oh wait, and then there was a fifth star for before turn five. I really like that. And then, I mean, you can come back. You can make get a stronger deck and everything. Alright, cool. Blade Bomb. Deal 5 power damage to all minions and add a bomb to your opponent's deck for each destroyed. I wish I knew how much a bomb did. Alright. Again? How? Hey, now, don't be too upset, Miss Eve. It ain't easy stopping a mighty pirate like myself. Careful, lion boy. An eagle like that could get you in trouble. Enough with this frivolous banter. Why are you trying to kill us? And who is this grub character you mentioned before? Tell us now before we end you. Well, aren't you the hothead? Fine, I'll bite. I work for Grub, the notorious info broker of the Swindler's Wharf. Send me to take care of your little gang. Wouldn't be good for business if the masses learned that the mighty Redcroft was actually alive and back in Swindler's Wharf, no less. A walking ghost hurts his bottom line. 
So is Grub Fellas, the spineless lily lever spreading false rumors about me. That coward's gonna regret messing with my reputation. You pirates are all the same. If you boys have a bone to pick with Grub, then I suggest you pay him a visit. His eyesore of a hideout is just west of here. Now it's about that time. Caught my second wind. Catch your ruffians later. And there she goes. Come back at once, Vixen. You have yet to pay for your insolence. Let her go, Braxy. We got more important things to do, like finding Grub. Ain't gonna let someone send in assassins after us about his merry go about his merry way. Ooh, passage to a different area. Boss? Alright. I was gonna say, good deal. I'm definitely doing it. Let's go see. I will say, I am beyond my sponsored, like, requirement or not requirement or whatever suggestion for time by a, quite a lot. I just really like this game. Eh, so you found me. That we did. You must be the one and only Grub. Grab the grotesque. Been looking all over for you. Yes, I know. My loyal tipsters have been keeping tabs on you and your friendly friends. Friendly friends? Mighty useful to have a band of spies at your back and call, eh? Yes, very useful indeed, but enough about me. <laughs> How can I help you today? Glad you asked. You're going to tell your little gang at Hound Criers to make, to make the rounds with a revised announcement. That Redcroft the Mighty Pirate is very much alive and thriving. These rumors about me drowning at sea need to be put to rest. That's what you're after. Fortunately, I can't help you, friend. You see, it'd be quite the debacle if I were to formally withdraw previously sold information. The secrets I trade are always reliable. The cold grubber's guarantee. Then if it happens that the information I've already sold is less than reliable, I'm forced to keep my hands dirty and make things right. <laughs> huh? If I, if it were to catch wind among my clientele that nuggets of info I've sold were untrue, my entire reputation as a swindler, wharf, most reliable info broker would crumble. So what you're saying is, he's going to dispose of you to protect his business. Barbaric, to say the least. The scale skin is quite the perceptive one. Don't speak to me, you scum-crusted abomination. Eh, this runt ain't going to be disposing of me. No need to worry, Braxy. Oh, but I will. I have the upper hand. I know everything about you, Redcroft. Your fears, your regrets, your biggest mistakes, your most glaring weaknesses. You're truly the mighty pi you're Are you truly the mighty pirate you claim to be? That's enough of you, worm. Don't know the first thing about Captain Redcroft. Stand aside, brass. You don't need to be fighting my battles for me. He's mine. This'll be fun. Prepare to be personally taken care of by the one, the only, girl, gold grub, grub and grub. <laughs> <laughs> oh my what do you have going for you paper mm, you don't know that much about me then because I only use paper and you somehow did not realize that I'll tell you what I, I'll keep one in my hand hey. and that'll work fine when you set a trap, summon two cunning crows in adjacent spaces. Best be cautious, who knows what kind of tricks this little guy's got up his tree, tree sleeves, tree sleeves. Up that guy first, I guess. So wait, did I have to put that blitz thing? I assume that was just like an ultimate that I unlocked. Did I have to actually put it in my deck? I guess I did. Uh... Why'd I put my hand over there? What'd I do to myself? Why'd I do that? There we go. I mean, I'll, I'll just... I guess I'll attack? I don't know what's going on here. Hidden trap. Oof! Oof! 
They have like freaking rush. You dirty devil. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this seems like a good start. We can start to do some silly damage. Not that he's even playing any cards that I can attack. I maybe this cycle through to see potential traps. Oh god. Dude, these have flying and rush. Flying fleeting rush. It is actually gross. Okay. I mean, I guess I'm going to blast Grub directly there. Okay. Oh. When a friendly minion is destroyed, deal two damage all. When your opponent casts a spell, negate it. Friendly minions attack, give it plus two, two, and barrier. Okay, well, I'll say that none of those things have happened yet. Gearhead costs three less for each trap you control. Now that sucks. Okay. A little blast. Another little blast. Sure, fine. That's not... That's not great for me. In fact, is that lethal? Because this is... I wish this wouldn't attack, but it's going to. I'll need to get my super meter. Yeah, clearly it would go, like, right here. I mean, I'm going to do a lot of damage to him, but unfortunately, this trade is so bad. Oh, and he gains barrier. Oh, great. Okay, well, I literally just lose then. Yeah, I'll take it. I shall beat him. That is some BS. I mean, I could go and get stronger is the thing. But that guy is a real piece of dirt. Okay, hold on. Do I actually need to sort of like... Oh, does it take up a card slot? I'll say that Spin Blade seems useless for this guy. Is there any more flying? This isn't flying, is it? Nope. There's nothing I can do to stop all of that free damage he gets. Aside from, like, having more grogs, barrel mutts, fine. I just... Because the thing is, he plays that stuff, and it happens immediately. I will kill you. I will kill you. Just, he does three free, three free, three, like, six free, six free, six free, six free, and then he blasted me with... <laughs> then he blasted me with the 11. Grog seems good for us at, the, at this point in time. We'll, we'll play it on the next turn, but... Seems useful. Again, there's nothing I can... I could go and fight other things, do other parts, and, and make a stronger deck and everything, but I don't want to... Wait, you actually have a... You're actually playing a unit. This is actually better for me. By a lot. I will say that. This start is more reasonable. And then there's the trap. Six? I'm not going to say it's, it's not unblockable. But it's not not unblockable, because we don't really have cards in the deck yet that can do anything about that. And the game would know that. Okay. Pop that. Okay. 
Oh, a 1-1 one, one Clucky. Hey, that didn't really matter. He loses the tough, but that could have been way worse. Hand over the goods. Tinker Tot. Oh, draw a trap and reduce its cost. I don't know about this, man. Hmm. So whoever I put in the back would just... They would just be a blocker. Do I do it? He wouldn't be able to attack back, but he blocked two damage. Or I could let it through, and then I just have this guy in the back so that I can get another broadside boom. I actually like that a little bit better. As stupid as it kind of looks. Actually... Yeah, just literally having that ult is super dumb. And then next turn we can play this, and maybe we can even... Surely we wouldn't have lethal. 3 damage, 3, 6, 9, 12, 50. I mean, wait. Okay, see, that is more reasonable. Him getting only the 1. I don't know why he's playing it on the side there. Okay, he's just actually dumb now. I can deal with this if the boss is just inept. Oh no! My life is in shambles! Of course he had the countered my stuff trap. And this sucks, this is not a good trade for me. He just ate five mana worth of value there. That actually, that alone probably kills me. And now he has a Blitz Burst, set four traps. Transform your traps into random legendary minions? Fill your front row with random pirates and give them all plus one, plus one. Tough battle cry at 10. Okay. I hate that he had the perfect counter card. Unfortunately, there's not much I can even really do here to stop him, and I can't really play cleanly on curve either. This is just terrible. This is just bad. This is just bad because we're opening up all of those lanes for him to attack us for free. Glad we have this guy back here so we don't... I was going to say so that we don't get immediate lethal, but we might. Whenever the opponent casts a spell, add a doubloon to your hand. Thank God. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't really. Strikes twice. Does it have first strike and seconds? I mean, I don't know. Okay. It's, it, it all depends on that, really. Cool. Do I get to attack once for free? Before... Without counterattack. Nope. Okay, this... Okay, this boss is actually just... Just... just <laughs> okay, okay, he is just a piece of trash, man. After trap is revealed, give your other minions plus one, plus one. If you have any trap set, deal two damage to all enemy minions. I'm glad you don't. All right. I need to draw something great. I mean, that is something great. I need to have this here to cover my bum. 
Oh, uh, if I only had one more pirate. If I just had one more pirate. Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. Wait, we have lethal. Oh my god. Jesus. What a crazy fight that is. Absolutely crazy. So we could theoretically uh, go somewhere else. Battlecry and Death Rattle add a bomb to the opponent's deck. At the start of your turn, fire a friendly cannon. I mean, that's good if we have the cannons. I guess I'll just do the passive. And then we could, like, drop it back, yada yada. Alright. What's up with you? But how? This can't be happening! You're through, Grub. <sighs> Grub's a dud. Please spare me. I'm more useful to you alive than dead. I can help you. I will help you. You've got my attention. You need a ship, yes? Well, what if I told you that your beloved ship, the Red Wing, was here in Swindler's Wharf? The Red Wing, she's here? Mark of pride and joy. You best not be pulling our leg, Grub. I assure you it's true. Truer than me being dead? It is much truer. My uh, tipsters clued me in. Your ship is anchored southeast of here, the far edge of Swindler's Foot. But, but what spit it out? Your ship, <laughs> she has a new captain. The gentleman pirate, loyal Coxswain. Coxswain, that's no good. Scoundrels got his puppy paws on my ship. Regret regrettably, yes. Uh, she's moored right off the coast of his hideout, Fort Bilgebomb. And heavily guarded by him and his crew. Fuck, <laughs> wrangle back the Red Wing. That we will, Redbeak. Ain't no way in hell I'm gonna let old Coxswain have me ship. See, I told you I could help. That you have, but you ain't off the hook just yet. You're gonna tell your little tipster lackeys that I'm still alive. No more nasty rumors, you hear? Yes, yes. Uh, no more nasty rumors. The gold grubber's guarantee. Now that's more like it. You actually trust him? I'm certain he'd say almost anything to save his sorry skin. Abraxas may be right, Captain. What should we do with him? Good question. Oh. Please, I'll be good, I swear it. I'll let him go. I'll let you free, Grub. But don't let us catch you causing trouble again. Thank you. I'll be off now. I'm sure he will cause trouble again, but screw him at the same time. Wish you the best of luck in retrieving your ship, Redcroft. <laughs> Mama, hold tight, I'm coming. Well, that settles that. Let's get this out of this dump and find Coxswain. Hope you know what you're doing, pirate. Um... Thanks for playing. More coming soon. I dig this so much. I really, 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 really like it. And I hope you guys too, because when this comes out, I would actually love to play more of it. I, <laughs> I'm so pleased as punch. And if I don't play it on my channel, I'm definitely playing this in my own free time. Like I played a lot of like you know, like the Pokemon trading card game on Game Boy. I adore that game. Or like the early Yu-Gi-Oh! kind of adventure uh, RPG deck builder kind of games. I really love those. And this is doing that in like a really nice, modern, tight way. And I can't wait to see what the roguelike mode looks like too, on top of it. Like, I like the adventure thing. And if there is an infinitely replayable or at least like very replayable mode as well, I am so jazzed up about this game i really really like it but alas alas like i said huge thank you to the arcade crew for sponsoring this video i almost forgot that this was actually sponsored link in the top description to check out the demo for yourself i suggest you do so and you know maybe go explore the other directions i did not explore a couple of the other events i didn't see and uh check out the other you know types of deck play styles because they all seem really interesting but last, last, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for uh, typically roguelikes and more. And this will be potentially a roguelike when it's out. Uh, but hey, I love deck builders. I love card games, RPGs, etc. If you're into any of that jazz, this is a great channel for you. Thank you, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.